this year occasion is being celebrated under the team, diversifying, expanding coverage, and optimizing care for all. Rehab Week is being observed from June 11 to June 17. Director of Disability and Rehabilitation Services, Dr. Ariane Mangar, in delivering the feature address at the official launch of the Week of Activities, lauded the progress made locally from a time frame from when persons did not have access to rehabilitation services, which resulted in worsening of their condition, further complications, and lifelong consequences. We had no speech therapists. We had no audiologists. Only three orthotic and prosthetic technicians, a few rehabilitation assistants, one audiological doctor, and a few audiological practitioners, and seven guys, seven physiotherapists alone. Currently, the ministry has 10 occupational therapists, nine speech and language therapists, 51 physiotherapists, and three doctors supporting the rehabilitation services. For the first time, we now have at least one physiotherapist in every single region, helping to improve helping to improve and expand the services in the regions. Mangar acknowledged rehabilitation services still has a long way to go and grow. Sharing his testimony was national volleyball player Christoph Shepard, who was in a coma for a month and 10 days after being critically injured in a vehicular accident on Mandela Avenue in February 2022. He went from using a wheelchair to a walker, to a walking kid, to walking a lady. Um, I must say kudos to all the physicians that have worked with me, whether directly or indirectly. You guys are doing an amazing job. Continue. Shepard shared that before his accident, he weighed 140 pounds, but lost 30 pounds during his ordeal. He now weighs 155 pounds. So I started therapy at the National Sports Clinic at the Aquatic Center. Big up to Vanessa and crew. I know she's here. But, but they have been doing a great job. Um, I set goals and work towards them and the goal we set is in August, by August, they want me to run 100 meters in less than a minute. Well, I'm proud to see that it was made. The event saw the attendance of persons working under the disability and rehabilitation program from all regions in Guyana, along with representatives of the Visually Impaired Cultural Association of Guyana and the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center, Georgetown. Tiana Corey reporting for the HGP Nightly News.